If you see ants on a garden site, you may be sure they've come for a long time. They will build an ant hill and form a colony with a queen. The trouble is that this large family turns out to be extremely voracious and, in general, causes some inconvenience. Undertaking a war against ants on a garden plot is usually difficult. Moreover, it does not always end in favor of human side. In addition, a lot of people pity the little inhabitants of the site because in the childhood they were taught that ants are keepers of the forest and the surrounding area. However, in gardens we meet only garden ants that breed aphids, a very dangerous and tenacious pest. So is it necessary to get rid of ants on a garden plot? Fighting ants in the garden – pros and cons Nowadays, the fight against ants in the garden can turn into a full-scale war. Manufacturers and gardening shops sell a huge amount of pesticides that are destructive to all living things, including ants. However, people believe that these insects bring some benefits. Benefits from ants in the garden Soil contains 10 times more phosphorus and 2 times more potassium. In places where the ant family lives, Moreover, it's insoluble form, which is the best to be assimilated by plants. Also, ants eat caterpillars and some other garden pests. However, the majority of gardeners are still against ant colonies in their areas, because all their advantages are covered by indirect and direct harm caused by these insects. What harm do ants do to the garden? Ants are the main breeder of aphids in the garden. Moreover, they breed it just for the sake of pleasure, to obtain sweet nectar. Being symbiotes, ants and aphids occupy fruit and berry trees and shrubs like apple, pear, plum, currant and gooseberry and drive it to death. Ants actively protect, spread and even carry aphids away for wintering, creating a constant threat to your plantings. Along with moles, ant colonies spoil flower beds, alpine hills and lawns. They build complicated ant hills with branched underground passages, and later neither cold nor insecticides can penetrate there. Fire ants eagerly feast on strawberries and other berry crops, eat vegetables and roots with high content of sugar, eat out the insides of buds and flowers, later they may even move into a human dwelling and eat everything that was left uncovered. In addition, there are brown, sugar, red barbed and ordinary garden ants that reign in gardens. These kinds of ants are 100% pests, mostly because they feed on plants. It's obvious that you need to get rid of ants in the garden, and we're here to tell you how to do it. The vast majority of anti-ant chemicals are based on two substances, diazonon and chlorpyrifos. Diazonon literally hits the very heart of an insect. It stops the production of an enzyme that is responsible for nervous system of ants. They develop convulsions, leading to paralysis and death. In addition, the substance is actively absorbed by root systems of plants, so it protects from pests for two to three weeks. Chlorpyrifos enters the insect's body through the respiratory system and paralyzes the nervous system. The chemical is retained in soil for 110 to 120 days, and for about one to two months, it is still effective against pests. How to get rid of ants in the site? If you're not a supporter of chemical means of ant control, then there's a plenty of other, gentler methods to drive ants from the site without destroying their strong family. In particular, you may try the following methods. Ants are very sensitive to odors. If you are tolerant of the smells yourself, you may regularly put out the following carriers of aromas around ants' shelter. Anise leaves, smoked herring heads, sawdust mixed with mashed garlic. There is also an option to simply pour kerosene over the ant hill, but in no case set it on fire. If there is wormwood or parsley growing on your site, you should not be afraid of ants, because they prefer to avoid these plants. You may also plant garlic between strawberry plantings. You can also use vegetable oil, tobacco ash, chopped tomato and parsley leaves, turpentine and charcoal. Ants avoid trees, the base of which is treated with hemp oil. A trapping belt will protect you not only from various caterpillars and small insects, but also from the ant army. To improve the barrier, use a strip of foil with foam rubber under it. Ants are bad swimmers, so you can protect trees by building clay ditches filled with water. The width and the depth of the ditches may not exceed 3 to 5 centimeters. That would be enough to stop ants from climbing the trees. 
to cause irreparable damage to an ant hill, put any bricks, stones or pieces of iron near the ant nest passages and pour an infusion of manure or any herbs over them, except for the herbs that scare ants off. After two to four days, remove these objects and pour boiling water over the ant hill. Thus, you will block all the passages with hot water. Take some yeast, a handful of the size of a hazelnut, and pour it over with a sweet mixture of sugar, water and honey to make a gruel. Spread the mixture over matchboxes and place it around ant hills, covering with something. In a while, ants should stop walking around these places. How to deal with ants in the garden? It's the most annoying thing when ants are in the garden. If you want to know how to get rid of them, there are several really working methods. To scare ants off, place a kerosene-soaked rag under each fruit bush. You may also sow calendula near the plantings of currants and gooseberries. It attracts ladybugs, which eat aphids actively. Tie the trunk of the tree with wool or cotton wool soaked in a carbolic solution. Also, make a palm-wide ring of soot and linseed oil. Attach bottles filled with sugar water to the branches and lubricate their necks with syrup or anise oil. If ants have settled at the roots of a tree, use lime or bleach. Sprinkle quicklime on the ant heaps and pour water over them. A 20% carbolic solution will also make the insects flee. When fighting with aphids, you will also have to deal with ants at the same time. Dip the ends of branches into a bowl with a soap salt or soap ash solution. Make sure the solution covers the branches. Such a shower corrodes the aphid's skin and it becomes inviable. How to get rid of ants in the garden Various methods are also used for protecting garden crops from ants, and these are the most effective of them. Sprinkle salt on an ant hill, and then scatter it along the paths and places of greatest accumulation of insects. Add a few leaves of elderberry and wild mint to make ants' lives really hard. Add 400 grams of laundry soap, 2 tablespoons of carbolic acid, and 10 tablespoons of kerosene to a 10-liter bucket of water. Dissolve the soap thoroughly and stir the water. Pour it over the ant hill, the passages and the bases of the trees on which they crawl. After two or three treatments like that, the ants will prefer to move to another place. Mix dried and chopped oregano herb with sulfur at a 1 to 2 ratio. Dig in the ground around the place where ants have settled and pour the prepared mixture into the pit. You may also scatter stuffed soot near the ant settlement. If the ants have just begun to form a colony, they can be caught with a simple bait. Saturate a sponge with sugar solution and when ants run over it, immediately dip it in boiling water. Repeat it several times until the number of insects decreases to minimal. If the previous methods seem cruel to you, consider soft eviction of ants. At dusk, when all the insects return home, take a shovel and dig the entire anthill out in two or three times. Quickly put it into a bucket with all the inhabitants and take it outside the garden plot, preferably to the forest. After that, pour boiling water over this dug hole. Traditionally, in open areas, ants are frightened off by the smell of cloves of garlic, tomato tops or parsley leaves, ground cinnamon and other sharp aromas. Ants in the countryside – how to get rid of them in the house. Sometimes ants move into the house and start devouring food inside. To fight them, you can use the following methods. Spread out a bait consisting of 50 milliliters of water, 5 to 6 grams of borax, tetraboric acid salt, and 50 grams of sugar in places where ants concentrate. Ants love sweets, especially raspberry, cherry, and strawberry jams. Add 20 grams of fresh yeast and 5 grams of boric acid to 500 grams of jam. Ants would surely enjoy eating the delicacy, but it will most likely be the last one for them. The majority of insects will die in two days. Since chemicals cannot be used in an apartment, you need to use repellents that are safe for humans but unpleasant for insects, such as, for example, sunflower oil, elderberry, tomatoes, wild mint, cloves flowers, wormwood and garlic. Take a piece of old yellowed bacon, 100 to 200 grams, and fry it on all sides. Leave the bacon on a plate near the ants' passages. Just believe me, it's an extremely effective mean of scaring the small pests away. It's a common knowledge proved by many years that boric acid paralyzes the nervous system of insects and so causes their soon death. It's enough to soak a few pieces of sugar with boric acid and just leave them in a 
an open place. Alternatively, you can use 2 to 3 tablespoons of dry minced meat and soak it with 1 tablespoon of boric acid. What to do if an ant bites you? And finally, let's talk about what to do if several small ants did not hesitate to bite your hand or other part of body during this long and difficult struggle. In temperate latitudes, an ant bite is not dangerous, but still it can be quite painful. Human is usually bitten by warrior ants, which have large heads and powerful jaws. A slight itching caused by a single bite disappears after a few hours and does not pose a danger to humans, but if an allergic reaction follows, it's much worse. The following symptoms are the signs of this reaction. Appearance of swelling, blisters, itching, extensive redness of the skin, accompanied by serious pain, nausea, shortness of breath, headache, loss of consciousness. To treat an ant bite, you should do the following. Wipe the bite with some substance or drug that contains alcohol. Make a baking soda compress to relieve the itching. Relieve the swelling that occurs after several bites using a compress of brewed birch leaves or raw potato gruel. Take antihistamine drugs. Consult a doctor if the damage is severe. As you can see, it's quite possible to get rid of ants completely. Do this without any regret, because these are the real pests that settle on your site. And remember that unlike their forest counterparts, they are not useful insects. All they do is harm to your plantings and food.